Hello students, this is Mrs. Miller, and I am going to be working on my website today. So what I did is I went to Wix.com and I clicked Login with Google, and it brings me to my dashboard. So after I open up my dashboard, if I go right down here, I can click on Edit Site. I did it previously so that I could be ready to talk to you about everything, but this is where you're going to start. So when you click your Edit Site, you're going to be able to make any changes that you want to make right here on this page. Mine had been Mrs. Miller's Readers, but after talking to Naomi, um, we decided to make it the Mommy and Naomi website. So in my first two videos, I shared with you how to do a title and put a picture here. Um, you can change up the design. And then I added this little bit here. I put Naomi as my miracle girl, a true gift from God. Join us on this journey of life and love as each day is a precious gift. So this is my introduction. This is all my homepage. I'm not putting too much detailed stuff right here on my homepage. Those are all going to be links across the top as I go through. So this is just my homepage. I'm now ready to work on my contact information. Because you all are under the age of 18, I don't think you should put any of your contact information onto your website. When we were setting it up, as I showed you in the first video or maybe the second video, I had already put in my email address and stuff, but I don't want you all to do that. I don't think that that's wise. So you can just go right here to where it says section actions and you can delete the contact part. You don't need that on your site at all. And if you decide later in life to go back and add that in, then that is perfectly fine. Now, a few of you, I noticed that you had some um, buttons and different things here, but it didn't link to anything. That's very important that you don't have things on your homepage that don't link to anything because then people will click on it. And if it doesn't go anywhere, they'll eventually stop looking at your website. So we're going to decide what we want our uh, page layout to be, and we'll do that in just a moment. What I did is I took my folder here. I decided since it was going to be about Naomi and me, I set up all these subfolders and I organized everything. And this is going to help me determine the pages that I want to add onto my website. I decided to go ahead and for now just keep my home page nice and simple. I don't have a blog or anything going yet. I will later um, and you will too. That's going to be the writing that Mrs. Sarlia has you doing uh, for your quarantine journal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a page. So I'm going to go right up here to the word add and I'm going to click page. Depending on the option you chose at the beginning as to what kind of page you wanted, you're going to see some things that they recommend for the type of pages that you can add. Now, I'm actually going to go with a blank one because I want to design mine from scratch. So I'm going to click the word blank and I'm going to just add this page. And you can see that right away, as soon as I added the page, the website started giving me some suggestions on the types of things that I might want to add to my website. So I can browse through these or I can add sections and just start going on my own. 